things on the fly and whatnot, so they may be pretty backed up. They do have, uh, they've built walls over here, great walls, which I can take advantage of because they don't seem to be manning them, so. <laughs> this was your first and last mistake, China. Well, your first mistake was being my, the closest AI to me. Man, this mountain range is really causing a traffic problem here. Look at this thing. It goes all the way from here, touches Bandar Brunei, goes all the way down, and it's wrapping around still here, so... The good part about this is that it kind of keeps Horse Lady from wanting to murder me, probably. I don't like being murdered by Horse Ladies. It's not, not a... Not on my list of things I like. It'd probably be on list of things I hate. Getting murdered by horse ladies. Likes chocolate. Hates getting murdered by horse ladies. So this... Archer, because he's on a great wall tile, should get a bonus. I didn't actually look at that to confirm. Let's move you into the swamp here so we can move the warrior forward. Let's see. These mountain ranges sure have created a lot, a lot of choke points. That's fine though. We're okay with that. How's this, uh... This tile's gonna take a while to get. So let's just... Upgrade this mine, right? Or this hill to have a mine on it. What do you have here, sir? So you have this... We definitely want to make sure you're always working that iron. For production, I think one of that's from our, one of those is from our Nubian bonus, I think. One of those is from our Pantheon. That's pretty slick. That is a good mine right there. And that's without even having the upgrade for, uh, what's that bonus? Apprenticeship. We don't even have apprenticeship yet, so that'll be a five production mine pretty soon. You are another Judas come to betray the Lord. I don't think that I am. Also, who is the Lord in this case? Do you have a religious, a religion, Philip? Uh... Founder, oh, he has Catholicism. Okay. So here I can move on to this great wall. Move him up to this great wall. I don't think I am, sounds like something Judas would say. You're not wrong, sir. You're not wrong. Uh, okay. So, we've got a strong attack force here. We're on the Great Wall, which is nice for us. I'm, I feel like that's a pretty good situation over here. Let's get... Man, I, I really keep saying that I need to get military over here, but you know what? We need to get our infrastructure going a little bit while... It's not like we're not doing a conquest right now. We're still we're still conquering cities. So, militarily we're in a good place, I feel. Let's 
Okay, you should go here. How how big are these wa this mountain range, man? This mountain range is crazy. I am pretty much forced to go this way. I mean, there's all this area that I could have gone, so that's kind of a invalid statement to make. Wasn't forced to go that way at all. Okay, we're going to move you up so that we can move you into this space. Let's fire at the wall. And then what about you? What, what's your attack like on here? So... Is being on the wall just a defensive bonus for my guys? I think it's just defensive. Or defensive. That's fine. I'm gonna move you onto this tile so that my warrior can get through. You're going to attack this archer. So, I'm slightly worried about this unit taking some damage there, but at the same time, I think it'll be alright. He does have a promotion, and he can move pretty fast, so... We can get him out of trouble, if necessary, hopefully. Unless he dies on this turn, which is possible. It's just not a scenario that I want to think about. Let's see here... An encampment would be nice, but I kind of want to make it like here. And I can't afford to buy that tile yet. So... Let's build our... Oh man. Maybe we'll build a commercial district? I can't even get a bonus for this. I need more borders for Bandar Brunei. Uh, Bandar Brunei. It's of vital importance. So I'm going to build a heavy chariot. We kind of need... That'll give us a little mobility and everything. Should be handy. Alright, can we... This choke point thing is ridiculous over here. I guess I could try to walk my guy back over here to engage in this fight that's happening here. But I have a feeling this area is just flooded with guys still. Okay, so he did take a lot of damage from that. And it's still possible for this heavy... Yep, yeah, he's dead. Uh, I don't like the terms of your peace agreement because they don't involve me having one of your cities. It comes down to that at the end of the day. Alright, so we lost one of our archers, which is unfortunate, but just how it is. Why can't I attack through this spot? Please attack this guy? Oh. Because I was clicking on his icon and, and Firaxis is slacking and doesn't allow that to be an acceptable thing. I see how it is, Firaxis. You're just being slackers right now. Okay, I need this archer up here. He should be able to attack from this hill tile. Guess I can move this warrior into this tile for now, and they can do the old truffle shuffle across here. We call it the Beijing shuffle. We only have Hong Kong as a potential for our envoys right now. Maybe because I've conquered two by two nearby city states. But that probably has nothing to do with this. One man's magic is another man's engineering. Okay. Alright, we gotta 
We gotta burn these walls down. Let's, uh... Let's try to take this archer out over here. Yeah, we should be able to do this pretty easily. Because we need to do a little shuffle here. A little shuffle action. Oh, I do have this archer over here. That I had left here as a choke point. So I'm going to move him up to help. You guys can move on through. Can you shoot from here? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And you just get to hang out up here, buddy. That's your job, is hanging out right there. Ironworking is what is next on the agenda. We can build catapults now. Ooh! That had pained our warriors so much. We can potentially stop the city from firing, but if he runs out with this chariot, that guy's still toast. I'm going to move him into this tile and hope that he can burn that farm down for the good of our future. So the walls are coming down. We can move you across here and now we've blocked up their ability for the city to heal. This warrior with his like one health, four health of a hundred. He's, he's seen better days, no doubt about it. But if he lets him survive, then we, uh, we burn the farm down. Or we just take the city next turn and heal in a more, uh, less farm-destroying manner. Okay, let's bring, let's get catapults going. Hey, Deutschface, thank you for the sub, man. Appreciate it. Always good having you looking. Hey, it's Montezuma. It's an honor to meet you, Montezuma. Can I call you Monty? Are you okay with that? No, we don't want peace right now, buddy. Please have my babies. I don't know if that's physically possible. But maybe we can work something out. We'll figure it out, buddy. I believe. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. We can just burn this farm right here, but... Yeah, we'll do that. Get our guy's health all the way back. Hey, Merry Christmas, buddy. Keep up the good work. I will. I'll keep putting on the show if you guys keep showing up. Let's see. Okay. This is not a good place for a lone archer to be up here with a couple chariots, but they're brave archers over here. Yes, very good. Leave the exploring to me. Okay, Tamiris. Tommy. You leave, or we'll leave the exploring to you, you leave the conquering to us. How about that? So Beijing is going down pretty easily. I think we can just go for their capital and take it. I, I honestly don't see them putting up much of a resistance at this point. Alright, 
Alright, send the lone warrior in to capture the city. We will keep the city. Beijing is now our city. Now our city. Did I say that wrong? It sounded like I said it wrong. Uh, run away, Archer. Use your superior movement to stay alive. You are a poison to this world, you are evil, says Montezuma who wants to kill me because of different governments. That's fine, buddy, I understand. You're afraid that I have the superior all the world's a stage. government of oligarchy and you're probably living in some... Hold on. What do you have going on? I'll check out your screen in a second. Oh, those are fun. What's your government? Monarchy. You have a monarchy? Yeah, whatever. Like anyone's gonna listen to somebody in a monarchy. take this guy out probably actually I can upgrade you guys to uh, swords I can upgrade one of you to swordsman uh, you're gonna be leveled so you're gonna get upgraded and you're just gonna stomp into this guy uh, let's send you across the border maybe you'll be upgraded into a swordsman actually cuz one of these level 1 guys is going to get upgraded. That's for sure. We don't know who yet. Let's heal up over here. And attack some of these chariots. We've got a river to help us in this fight. So... I think we're in a pretty good spot. Let's slowly move our archer back into range over here. I just don't want him getting murdered as well. Let's see. I could switch to crossbowman. That's a pretty big upgrade at this point. I could also get... Do I, I have horses, so I could get... I'll get horseback riding just to have that option. We don't have any encampments, and we don't have two of any resource right now, so the only way we can get those is to buy for upgrades. Uh, which is why I wanted to build one in Bandar Brunei. Just to start being able to build new troops. But! Oh no, a chariot found our guy! He's got a promotion, though. He can manage this thing. Okay, so you would declare peace for silver, some gold, and seating Beijing. But I think that we have the advantage still here. I, I believe it's still advantage Nubia. If I do say so myself. Let's see. Let's uh, stop healing and he try and murder these guys. Okay, which direction do we want to go here? One of you can fire on this guy. Then we can move him across, move you down to fire. There we go. And now, those chariots are dead. Dead, dead, dead. Get out of here, those chariots. Okay. We need to have our archer over here be able to deal with this chariot that's chasing him around. 
I believe in him. But let's see what we can do. It might be easier for us to take this city first. Actually, there's really nothing that's stopping us from taking this area other than I just can't move this guy over there very easily right now. Let's turn him into a swordsman. He'll be our first swordsman. He will lead the charge with our archer friends. Kill these chariots. Probably I'll move this. Actually, I can move them into the borders here. Are they at war? Who are you at? You have denounced. So you don't have open borders like I do. So. Good luck catching me, sucker. I'm in territory you're not allowed to be in. There is nothing stopping us. That's right. We are unstoppable right now. We can't be contained. We can't be held back. We have what it takes. All right, and you're gonna go over here. And now we're gonna start looking at taking the Chinese capital. I feel like we're in the in a position to do so right now. And like I said earlier, feelings are all that matter. Feelings trump facts in every case. We've learned this. Okay, so you've hurt my dude a little bit, but he can stand up to your fire all right up over there. Up over there? Over there. Uh, let's see. So let's just start taking these walls down. We're going to send the swordsman across here. Archer here. Let's see. This warrior can run up along here so that we can make our sp some space for some more archers to go through. Let us murder this chariot if at all possible. This warrior can run along here. So yeah, Beijing was ours, and now your capital is next on my agenda. But don't you worry, we will be kind to your capital. Building crossbowmen would be nice. Let's get the the mining bonus from apprenticeship. Get that extra production on our mines. That'll be handy. Uh, let's get a builder in this city because we've got a couple stone resources that could be upgraded that we don't have going. He's sending chariots after us. And asking for forgiveness. No forgiveness, say. Not even for all those piles of your gold. Our guy got upgraded to rank 3. Got this uh, ability to upgrade your dudes so fast as Nubia is amazing. They get like a 50% bonus for all ranged experience gains. So that's why I have a bunch of rank 3 archers already. Which is glorious. No doubt about it. Nubia strong. Ah, uh, yeah, Basil. Uh... They have one of the they they have basically the most powerful uh, archer at the beginning. Yeah, the expansion looks amazing. I hope that they do really well. Like, pretty much every addition is a good step forward in in Civ games. I find.
Well, I'm glad to see you talking, Vazel. Uh, if you lurk, that's also okay, but always appreciate the chat. So we built a catapult there. It's going to come in handy a little bit. Right now we're able to get rid of walls pretty quick, but but having anti-city weapons are going to be handy. Let's see, what can we put here? I do need to get some more infrastructure going. Playing at the moment too, so I'm kind of semi lurking Gotcha. What are you playing as right now? Much appreciated, man. Much appreciated. I'm I'm here to entertain, so I'm glad you enjoy it. Let's see. All right, let's get this monument going here. I mean, we've got a great army. Regular uh, random deity, uh, come here. Okay, I did one of those as soon as the DLC came out for that. <laughs> Deutsch face is playing that league. Listening to my sweet, sweet voice. Much love, sir. I know nothing about League, but I hope that you're doing well. And I hope you are doing well, Vazalez, the, uh, come here. They are pretty strong. <laughs> it's always a learning experience jumping back in, I feel. If you haven't played in a while. Okay, so we almost have the town surrounded here. This warrior is covering this spot. He's covering these two. We just need to get this swordsman into this tile right here, and then we'll be shutting off their ability to regenerate. The first Civ after the most recent update I played was the... Uh, the ship-based one? I don't remember what they're called. They were pretty fun, but I ultimately ended up losing that game on Deity. I was streaming it as well. What are... What is that Civ? I don't remember. It's a, it's a lady and she's got strong muscles. No, I don't play any mods in this game. I've been told that I should be playing with some mods, but I just... I, I've never looked at them. I just play the game default, so... Right on. Right on. Okay, now we've got the city surrounded. They are now officially under siege. Or under siege 2. Where you're a chef on a... Was he on a train? I don't remember. Under Siege was he was a chef on a... Like a Navy ship. I remember these things. Okay, what do we need here? So, Mohenjo Daro... Uh, let's get you in. Is there a good spot for an encampment right now? That's actually decent. It's a defensive position. Yeah, let's give you an encampment. It's gonna take you a while, but we do need encampments right now. So you will get the first encampment. And we are gonna pretty easily take China's capital, it looks like. I don't foresee them being able to put up any sort of struggle up here. I don't know if they're at war with anyone else right now. No, they're not. But we've burned through their military pretty much. So now it's just a, a time game as we chip away at their city. We just need to try to bring the walls down quickly so they stop getting any sort of attack against us. 
Let's see. Here we could shift you guys along here. 